Hey everybody, it's been a while since my last video, but I thought that I would follow up with the SharePoint Cafe session from February that we tried to cover the calendar overlays in SharePoint with a video since we had a pretty rough time with the um, internet connection and, and uh, having the screens display in a timely manner. So I'm going to start off here with just a test team site uh, so you can, and walk you through how to set up those calendar overlays uh, from the very beginning of creating a calendar. So while inside my team site, I'm going to go into Site Actions, and then I'm going to go into View All Site Content, and then I'm going to click on the Create tab. Give that a second to load, and once it loads, I'm going to pick List. In SharePoint, as you know, calendars are categorized under the List category. So I'll select Calendar, and then I'm going to select More Options, and I'm going to give my calendar a name, Video Series Calendar, and I'm going to tell it that I do not want it to display on the Quick Launch and leave uh, No under the Group Calendar Options, and then I'm going to click Create. Okay, once our calendar is created, it's pretty plain. Uh, there's no events in here or anything. If I clicked on today to add an event, then I'd say I have several options, title, location, start time, end time. The thing that I want to pay attention to is this category. Right now, by default, I've got category one, category two, and category three. So that's going to be the first thing that we're going to change. So I'm going to click cancel to get out of here. And then in Calendar, I'm going to go into List Settings. And once my List Settings loads, I'm going to go down to the Columns view, and I'm going to click on Categories, or Category. And once Category comes up, I can change the name, but I, I'm okay. I need to leave it uh, the column name as Category. What I want to change is right here uh, under the the description. Uh, I want to actually give these names, these categories names that make sense to me. So for example in the counties you may have a 4-H agriculture FCS and then maybe a miscellaneous category. For the purpose of this video I'm just going to do test 1, test 2, and test 3. Test 1 and I'll enter these categories on separate lines And I'm going to leave everything else the same and click OK. All right, and it takes me back to this list settings view. So in the breadcrumbs up here, I'm going to go back to my calendar. And I'm just going to throw a couple of the categories in here. So I'm going to name this test one. And then in category, test one is selected by default. So I'm going to select save. And then I'm going to do a test 2 title, and I'm going to select test 2 for the category. Click Save. And then in test, or on the third one, I'm going to do a test 3 title, and select test 3 for the category, and select Save. Okay, so now I've got test 1, test 2, and test 3. Now they're all the same color. Our, our objective here is to get these different categories to display in different colors. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do now is go into Create View, and I'm going to create a calendar view, and I'm going to name this calendar view Test 1. Okay, because that's going to line up with the category Test 1. Then I'm going to scroll down to the Filter section, and I'm going to have this calendar only show items when the following is true and I'm going to change the the uh, column from none to category and I'm going to leave is equal to and then I'm going to type the category just as I have it listed in the categories which is going to be test and then the number one with no space and I'm going to click OK. Okay so now under this view we're only seeing the test one category so I'm going to go back into my calendar tab and I'm going to create a second view under calendar view I'm going to name this one test 
2 to match with my test 2 category. Again, scroll down to filter, select show items only when the following is true. Again, change this to category is equal to, and then test 2 with no space. It's just the exact same way that it's listed, that I listed it when I added my categories. And I'm going to click OK. So now under this view, only test 2 is showing up. And I'm going to do one more. So calendar, create view, calendar view. And then I'm going to name this one test 3. Scroll down, show items only when the following is true. One more time, change it to category is equal to, and then type this just the way I have my category typed, which is test 3. And then click OK. So now if I go into calendar, and I expand this box here under the current view, I can see that I've got all events, current events, test 1, test 2, and test 3. Now I need to add one more view so that it it'll pull in all three of these or it'll have pretty much a blank category so I'll show you how to do that so create view one more calendar view and I'm gonna name this one overall view and I'm gonna scroll down to the filter section and I'm gonna change show items only when the following was true and I'm gonna select category and I'm gonna leave the bottom part blank Okay, so I just want the overall view, and then category is equal to, and then leave that blank and select OK. Okay, so now we have our views. Overall view, test 1, test 2, and test 3. So now what we want to do is click on calendar overlays. So I'm going to select new calendar here. And I'm going to have these calendar overlays, again, match the category that I use. So test 1. I'm going to select a color. You don't have many colors here to select from, and some of them look very similar. So you want to be careful when adding categories that you don't add too many. The first one I'm going to select, I'm just going to leave the light yellow selected. And then I'm going to click on the button Resolve. When I click on that Resolve button, then I get some options here. Under the list, I'm going to select Video Series Calendar, which is the calendar that I just created. And under the list view, I'm going to click or choose Test 1. So that matches the calendar name. And I'm going to check the box Always Show. And I'm going to do this for each view that I've created. So New Calendar, Test 2. I'm going to change the color of this one to orange. Now let's get something a little bit different. I'll go pink. Again, click Resolve, select my calendar, and then select this category, Test 2, check mark Always Show, click OK, and one more time. Calendar name, Test 3, and for this one I'm going to pick uh, blue. Click Resolve, Again, video series calendar, and then test three, and click always show, and then select OK. Okay, so once we have all of those done, then we can select OK. And now the calendar view that we are in is the overall view. We can see that it's showing all of these three separate colors on here. So it's pretty much showing three separate calendars on one calendar. Now this works if you're actually on the page or on the original calendar page that was created when we created the, the calendar. It's a little bit different when we add this calendar to a page. So what I want to do now is just create a page and import this calendar into that page and then show you how to set that up. So I'm going to go into Site Actions and I'm going to click New Page and I'm going to title this Video Series and then click create okay so now I have just a blank page I'm gonna insert that calendar web part in here and change the view so that it shows that calendar overlay view so I'll click on insert go to web part and then I'm gonna select my calendar which is video series calendar click add 
So now I've got my calendar in here in the original way. You notice that the colors aren't showing up, the overlays aren't showing up, and that's because if I click this calendar and I look at the calendar, the current view is set to default. I want to change that to that calendar, to that overall view. I could change it here, but it's not going to change it on the page. What I want to do is go into the calendar web part, click on the drop down, and then click edit web part. When I click edit web part, I get this screen to show up, and the thing we want to change here is the selected view. So we're going to change the default view from current view to overall view, and we'll get a message that switching between views could change some of the stuff on our calendar, so be aware of that. I've never ran into any problems here, but just be aware of it, and I'm going to select OK. I'm going to click Apply, and then OK and I am going to save and close the page so now we're viewing the page just as if we were looking at it from if we arrived here searching the web or, or um, uh, we're, we're out of edit mode is what I'm trying to say and we can see that our three colors are now showing up so anytime that we added another calendar event uh, so let's name this um, video series on calendar overlays and if I change the category to number two it should be the pink category if I click Save then there we go our new categories are showing up everything seems to be working fine so as always if you have any questions about this or need some further information let me know uh, we'll see you again soon